it's a 2017 Cascadia and this one has a DD13 engine um, it's very rare to see these um, Cascadias with a small engine a DD13 in this case you can see right here and we're getting the following cuts all these cuts right here see they're all relating to the NOx sensors see NOx sensor here we have NOx sensor outlet inlet inlet outlet right here and we have CSER outlet NOx sensor error and we have this one right here we have multiple calls about NOx sensors so there is an issue here as you can see the truck is doing our regeneration we have some mileage right here you see many people ask me for that so here is the mileage um, all right so the region is going on and here in the SCR system right here we got all the readings and the reason why the computer is calling this code is because we have the sensor the inlet knob sensor on and we are not getting any lecture and we have the outlet we have the temperature then probably we need sometimes needs a little more to start working so you see right now it's 538 sometimes start working up to 700 it depends on the configurations and the type of uh, circumstances the reading is going on then the temperature right here is going to activate the NOx sensor so this one is off still and it's not getting any rhythm the computer is calling this code on when this code right here these are all related to the same code you can say this is with this one you can see this is the oh because this one is not getting the the, uh, the checks on that's the reason why this one's calling then we have the outlet and then we have the inlet the circuit the gear circuit and then they have this one so these are related to the knock sensor probe the probe is the little part then connects to the sensor then connects to the wiring to the to the, to the truck then um, then converts the signal so the computer can understand how the knock sensor is working the reason why this one is coming on is because the sensor isn't working correctly the way to repair it is to replacing the NOx sensors in this case we have to replace the two of them the inlet and the outlet the two sensors they're located in the SCR box all you have to do is you know go to the SCR box and you want to see the two NOx sensors they're kind of easy to replace I have some videos talking about that you can see my channel and you're gonna see different things about that now once you have replaced the two sensors see we want to replace the two sensors in this case I haven't replaced the sensors but I'm going to tell you what you have to do if you had this code if you replace the two sensors uh, you throw off the engine and everything uh, at this point we're gonna stop the region because we don't need the region right now all right so um, if you replace the two sensors and uh, you you don't expect these cuts are going to go away these are not going to go away as soon as you replace the sensors what you have to do is come back to service routine and do a region and once you start doing a region this is going to start working and it's going to give you the lecture of the sensor which is the ppms of the sensor and that is going to deactivate this code that's the only way then that is going to work once you do that this code is going to stay permanent like it says over here because the computer is going to keep on checking if the system is working fine after a while probably after like couple miles of driving this code will be able to clear 
you will not clear it and you can um, it can go away but this is how you are going to do this repair uh, replacing a knock sensor is not that hard uh, sometimes the sensor is stuck because of the corrosion and stuff like that the process of doing the job is not hard the action of removing it is hard depending on the circumstances especially if you have trucks and are from very snowy areas because there is a lot of salt and stuff then goes you know on the snow and that makes a lot of corrosion and that is super hard to remove so you have to use a torch ah, videos talking about it so you can actually understand more but if this is just a talk about small video about this code because i know many of you are going to have wonders about this code so this this is pretty simple repair um right now we are in 2022 you can see this is the date when i'm filming this video and uh, it's very hard to get these two sensors right now it's almost impossible to get them right away you have to wait probably like one month to two months depending on the circumstances but it's possible to get them but not right away so this truck is gonna be sitting for a couple days until i get these parts if you wonder if you get these cuts these cuts right here and you are over the road if you wonder if the truck is going to stuck if the truck is going to stop if you are not going to be able to drive the truck no you will not be able to drive the truck these cuts are not stopping um the the truck for running but if you drive this truck for like we say a month after these cuts are active probably yes but if you drive a couple miles it's not going to actually affect at all but it's just a talk about as i said before and um i'm planning to do different video signs this is the starting of the year my first video of 2022 right now which i don't know when i'm going to be posting this video so when you are seeing this video well i mean probably it's gonna be very deep on 2022 but this is my first video of 2022 any questions go to this uh, comment section below um description of the video for details how to send support to the channel go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube um and um, anything else uh well you can feel free to subscribe to the channel share it with anybody that wants to learn more and thank you for watching